Hello, hello. My name is Kim Sohusuapia, and I believe in innovation and doing things differently. This video has been prepared for you to guide you through some well-known concepts that will aid your studies and preparations towards exam. Due to COVID, we cannot meet in person to discuss. So I hope this video finds you well and helps you achieve excellence. Thank you. Hello, so today we'll be talking about the Premed Sem for uh, C programming and this is a JOA initiative. Now, this is the preamble for the first question. And here we realize that the value of A has been given to be 8, B to be 3, and C to be negative 7. So let us move on to our first question. Let us move on to our first question. All right, so here, since we have B, the, we have our variables. Now, one thing we have to take into consideration is that when we are doing arithmetic here, when we are doing operational arithmetic, there is a level of precedence we need to consider concerning the operators. Now, let's go to a page concerning all of these things. So now, this is our level of operators, like their level of precedence that we would follow, or let's say the operator precedence. So we, we see that parenthesis, or let's say um, all the operators at level 1 has a higher precedence than operators in level 2, which also has a higher level of precedence than operators in level 3, and vice versa. So they just follow, they just follow. So let us keep this table in mind. It's very crucial to what we will be doing. So let's say, let's take this first one. We realize that B was given to us to be 3. B was given us what B was given to us to be three, and then C was minus seven. So B plus minus seven is obviously, so it would give us minus four. Now when we rewrite our equation, it would be two times. Say now we know that A is eight, plus three, modulus minus four. But when we go to our level of precedence, we find out that multiplication and modulus are on the same level and we saw that the associativity of that level was from left to right and so when we read this from left to right we realize that the multiplication is first right we realize that this multiplication is first so we would evaluate this first so we would do two times eight we would multiply the two times eight which would be our first evaluation so 2 times 8 would give us 16 plus 3 modulus negative 4, which would be our second evaluation. So 3 modulus negative 4 would actually give us 3. And then when we add 16 plus 3, we would have 19, which is the answer we got here. So concerning the modulus part, on the level of precedence, we realize that the multiplication now i'm back to this level we realize that multiplication and the modulus they are on the same le they have the same level of precedence but then according to the table of precedence how we read them is that we read them from left to right so since they have the same level of precedence if we read them from left to right what comes first is what we actually evaluate uh, yeah what comes first is actually what we evaluate all right so let's move to our second question. So for the second question, we have A times B divided by C. So it would be 8 times 3 divided by C, negative 7, which is C. Now, according to our table of precedence, we realize that division has a higher level of precedence like division and multiplication they are on the same level of precedence division and multiplication they are on the same level of precedence so once again we would read from left to right we would read from left to right which means we would evaluate the eight times three first so eight times three eight times three 
that's what we'll be evaluating first. So that would give us 24. Now the 24 divided by 7, which would be our final evaluation. So 24 divided by negative 7 would give us negative 3. Because now if you use your normal division to do this, it would give you a how do i say it would give you decimal places but this is c programming and the division we are using here truncates all of that decimal places here this is this is this truncates them the this division that we are using here it truncates the decimal places from there so this is what we would have this is what you'd have so don't don't be tempted to choose this don't be tempted to choose this if you choose this this answer is actually wrong because in c programming the divisions that we use they truncate unless you specify with the division sign that you are going to use that you actually want the decimal places there they would always truncate it and this so they are usually normal operations and we call certain of them some of them we call them floor that, that is they can truncate them to the floor some of them can actually give you class we have classic divisions some of them can actually give you the whole decimal spaces but this kind of division that we are using this kind of division that we are using which is this kind of division this one so instead of saying this division i i, I use this to make this simpler to make the whole process simpler but if we were supposed to use it strictly we would have had to use this the forward slash would have we would have used this in, instead of this so it would have been say this so it would have been say 24 forward slash 7 which would be the division that we would have to use but i use this to make all the process simpler but in c programming when we use the forward slash it is a kind of division that truncates all the small places so the answer here is negative 3 the answer here would be negative 3 okay so we come to our next question now as i said first as i said first okay so now for this question it's the same as eight times c and c is negative seven modulus negative three now negative seven modulus negative three will give you negative one which multiplied by eight would give us negative 8 hence this is our answer the ne so the negative 8 is our answer now on to our next question now let us take a look at this one too so for this question for this question now let us have a look at the multiplication precedence here sorry so for this question we see that parenthesis has the higher precedence now 8 divided by negative 7 8 divided by negative 7 according to the c programming division the division used in the c programming would give us negative 1 it would truncate all the decimal places so what we would have here would be 2 times b which is 3 plus 3 modulus negative one so excuse me now for this question we see that a divided by c is in the parenthesis so it's higher in precedence so a which is eight divided by eight which is eight divided by negative seven according to this division would give us negative one now the whole equation we could also rewrite it as 2 times b which is 3 plus b b is 3 plus 3 modulus negative 1 now 3 modulus negative 1 is 0 but according to our precedence we would look at it from left to right because the multiplication and the modulus they are on the same level of precedence so we would multiply 2 times 3 first which is 6 then plus the zero now three modulus negative one is zero six plus zero is six yeah so simple now let's move on to the next question now for this question we realize that we have some declared initial assignments 
now i is 13 j is 5 k is 1 and they are all integers now we had we have float initializations where x is 0 0.005 y is equals to negative 0 0.03 and z and we have character c which is equals to the cap the character c and an initialized character d which is equals to a capital character d now let us move on to our first question <coughs> okay so in this question we realize that the parentheses obviously take they have higher precedence so we would attend to our parentheses now in the parentheses we realize that the multiplications also have higher precedence over the subtraction signs so we would actually evaluate the multiplication signs first now we know that i is 13 so the first one would be 3 times 13 3 times 13 minus 2 times 5 and this one would become 39 minus 10 39 minus 10 which would become 29 so we get this part for th that that is for this now for this one too it would be 2 times d and now since you see that the d was initialized to be a character but it is being used in an, ar an arithmetic expression now one would ask how can i use a character inside an arithmetic expression now this is where we have something called an ascii table ascii tables are like character code conversions they are like character code conversions they are on the internet ascii we call them ascii which is a c a s c i i ascii ascii table so they have character code conversions and for the character capital c and capital d their ascii conversions are 43 for the capital character c and 44 for the capital character d so if you you could go to google and search for ascii tables and you would see what i'm talking about so for the character capital d you see d was initialized to a, a capital character d the ascii for that one is 44 so we would say 2 times 44 and then for the c it was initialized to capital c which has an ascii value of 43 so minus 43 now evaluating all of this would give me a 45 which is for this so the final one would be 29 modulus 45 29 modulus 45 now 29 modulus 45 would give me 29 which is my answer here now back to the ascii part again we see that here when c was the capital the character c was initialized to a capital c and the character d was initialized to a capital d character but it's been used in an arithmetic expression and we know that in an arithmetic expression a simple expression for computer calculations i can't actually multiply 2 by a and expect a normal figure which means that there must be an underlying course for the reason why they are using that so what i'm saying here is that the ascii which is the character code conversions come into play here once we see things like this the ascii's are the code conversions so we have to acquaint ourselves with the ascii table to know what this means okay thank you so let's go to our next question <clears throat> now our next question also has a very huge parenthesis which encompasses all of this so let's dive into this parenthesis now we have the, we would start evaluating the outermost parenthesis and move inside so now i've moved inside and i'll be taking this one first now i is 13 so 13 divided by 4 plus 4 so so let's let you just let's write these ones and understand the few so now four times four times what is in this so j j is five so five minus three 
modulus with within the own bracket modulus i which is 13 plus j which is 5 minus 2 minus 2 this is a minus 2 okay so when we evaluate all of these 13 divided by 4 from our division from the computer from the c programming division that we are using would give us 3 plus where this one also evaluating this one would give us 8 now here we would evaluate the 5 minus 3 first and multiply by the 4 and then 3 plus 8 modulus modulus 13 plus 5 minus 2 now we would actually since here since uh, if you look at the precedence table addition actually holds a higher precedence than the subtraction so we would add 13 plus 5 first and subtract from 2 which would give us so that would give us 16 now we have gotten to now for this part we see that the precedence here once again we have to take notice of the precedence we realize that modulus has a higher precedence than the addition sign so we would take the modulus of 8 and 16 which is 8 modulus 16 and the R modulus would give us 8 plus 3 now we would add this don't, don't forget that we have a 2 multiplying here so 3 plus 8 is 11 now 11 times 2 would give us 22 which is our answer over here